Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today I'm going to be giving you a look at the Pantor Sea Lion. This is the prototype. Um, if you're a member of a good couple of watch forums or watch groups, you might be uh, have seen this watch uh, or variants of it. There is a blue dial and a green dial as well. Uh, getting a pass around and uh, they got uh, some of the members thoughts on it uh, from the different forums and such. So let me give you a good look at it. Now, this is the black dial variant, and um, I don't know if this is going to change into uh, with the production models, but this very much is more of a, you know, like a dark charcoal gray dial than black. Um, you could just see the difference between the black bezel and uh, the color of the dial here. It is a sunray dial. But yeah, it's definitely more of a dark charcoal gray than a black. So I'm going to try and give you a walk around it here and uh, list out the specs. Now, there's going to be two different models. You are going to be, this particular one is an NH35 automatic movement that is up for pre-order right now on the Pantor website for $329. Um, I guess they're kind of doing it like Kickstarter, so it's kind of an early bird price, and then there's a 300 I think it then goes up to $350 or so. And then there is an ETA 2824 version, which will go for, uh, right now, the early bird price is $549. You are looking at a 43 millimeter case. 45 millimeters in length of course it is a screw down crown 300 meters water resistant you're gonna see a helium scape valve over here nice gear style bezel brushed surface here on top and then polished on the sides one thing i think is nice uh, to note is that the date wheel color is matched with the dial as opposed to being a white uh, a black on white date wheel as so many do Printed markers, aluminum bezel insert, sapphire crystal, 13.5 millimeters in thickness, and 22 millimeter bandwidth. So it will come with a uh, silicone strap and it also come with a uh, Zulu NATO style strap. Now, unfortunately, uh, if you're familiar with the uh, silicone, you know it catches all the lint in the dirt. I've had to keep blowing this off when I was doing the photography for it. Uh, the strap is really, really nice. And that's the one problem is that uh, I wish this was natural rubber and not silicone. Um, because the strap is super nice. It's super comfortable. And these uh, bumps and ridges in here actually work well to uh, line up with the buckle. And it kind of catches it in those grooves there. And then it lays down flat like that as you can see uh, that buckle is uh, cut out there to lay right in the strap so it's a nice touch I just wish it was you know natural rubber and not silicone here's a look at the case back you could see they have a sea lion it's kind of cute uh, you know it's not a mean uh, sea god or dragon or whatever you know it's a it's a sea lion you could pet it hi how you doing you know, so uh, it is what it is. Um, I, I think it's kind of nice. I, I don't really have a problem with it, if I'm being honest. The case, you know, if uh, you know, everybody's kind of doing one of these style of cases these days, and I don't see anything wrong with it, really. I'm just pointing it out. You know, it's a very uh, retro style, vintage style case. Uh, this one... Uh, different than say your Damar Ensign, uh, Ensign and a couple others this one is more of uh, excuse me I can't think of it Eterna Contiki style of uh, case you know late 60s early 70s style of cushion case diver as I said a lot of companies are doing it these days it's very popular um, you know, I don't really have a lot of complaints so far with this. Um, as always, click the eye in the upper right hand part of the screen. Take you over to the full review at watchreport.com. Let's check out the, uh, wow, well there's a complaint so far. Bezel action is tight. So I'm going to have to see if that will loosen up at all. Again, keep in mind, this is a prototype. Another thing I've noticed, and I believe this watch was passed around. I'm going to try and see if I could pick it up here. 
on uh, on video. If you take a look at the markers and numbers on the bezel, you can see they're cracked. The paint is already cracked on them. Uh, these are not loomed. You have your loomed triangle, but uh, I hope you could see that here on video. Now, again, this is a prototype, so uh, you know this could have been a bezel uh, insert that they just grabbed and threw on here. So I can't knock them for that. Um, I've been wearing this for a few days. I'm going to wear it for a few more and then uh, do my write-up on watchreport.com uh, with all my thoughts and comments on this. Let me give you a quick wrist shot here on my 7.5-inch wrist. Man, there is that clock again every damn time I'm recording. But it's becoming a thing now, so if you don't hear it, you might, uh, you know, you might be disappointed. But uh, there is a look on my 7.5-inch wrist. see a good amount of room left over uh, for uh, you know if you have a bigger wrist than mine I say it's probably gonna fit eight eight and a quarter anything after that and uh, you're gonna be out of luck but um, there you go there's a look on my seven and a half inch wrist uh, you know you got a very short lug to lug here with 45 millimeters so this is gonna be good for a lot of guys that like this style but don't want a you know 45 46 millimeter watch so, for the full review, click the eye in the upper right-hand part of the screen. We'll take you over to watchreport.com. Leave a like or a comment here. Uh, please go over and uh, check out the Pantor uh, website if you are interested in this model. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll never miss another review. Follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This has been Don Evans for watchreport.com. I'll see you guys on the next video.